Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Actually, it's neither name. But you can't see that, can you? No, no one can. This is all working out really rather well. Almost done. Oh, do take your time. It's a pleasure to be back. Victoria loved this place because it brought her close to her father. Poor child. He abused her and she still forced herself to admire him. Victoria, your suffering is over. I am going to keep your father's crime buried in silence where it belongs. Dorian will keep her end of the bargain and I will keep mine. I hate to have to say this, but I think you improved it. A little louder so your mother can hear you. I'll hear you. I'm going to give this to Quincy. He's got the makings of a heck of a reporter. Mm. Just like his mom. And if he has your news for news. Are you still thinking about David and Dorian's wedding? Well, Vicky, <laughs> if they married for love, I'm the son of a sea cook. You know, as. Uh, as husband and wife, they can't be compelled to testify against each other, can they? I hadn't thought of that. Mm -hmm. My goodness, well, you have to hand it to Dorian. She's still very clever, isn't she? It looks like she's going to slip through the net again. Well, maybe, maybe not. There's still that diary. Uh, they, uh, if they let some real experts, some top-notch experts go over it, I mean, really go over it, they're probably going to find something. And, don't forget, you're going to testify against her yourself. Well, yes, but I mean, that's just going to be my word against hers, Yeah, isn't but it? the jury will believe you, so I wouldn't worry too much. We've still got a real good chance of finally getting some justice done in this case. Hey, Dad, uh, Quincy says legal may give us some problems. Can you put out the fire? Well, can I tell you? I'm in dispense with <laughs> You think you know everything, don't you, Clint? You're only half right. Victoria may want justice. But Jean Randolph has her own agenda. Married from somebody else. No, no, you're right.